What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode. We are out here at the Real McCoy Ranch. What do you know? <laughs> we uh, obviously, as you can tell, we have fabricated a spear, Jerry and I. And um, I'm, I know YouTube's rules and regulations, so I just showed bits and pieces. I'm not going to show you guys how to build a spear because um, I think that would be breaking YouTube rules, and I'm not going to do that because I follow the rules and the laws. And you're going to get you a strike. Yeah, I don't want to strike. So, <laughs> anyways. Um, thank you guys uh, for watching first of all and for clicking on this video and I hope that you will hit the subscribe button and give me a big old thumbs up because this is going to be one uh, pretty sweet video we obviously have a spear we're gonna find us <laughs> I don't think you guys heard that but I did it was funny but anyway um, we're gonna go find us a hog check this bad dude out whether it's gonna work or not I don't know we have it on a piece of what looks to be about three quarter inch pipe, real thick wall stuff, and it's very heavy. So the plan is to just drop it with a little bit of force behind it. And I think it's a very primitive and very fun way to hunt. We're gonna be standing on top of a feeder, which it's super cool. We did it yesterday. For, so for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you saw the, the hogs underneath me at the feeder and it was uh it's pretty cool and we didn't have any any weapons or anything like that or any bow or pistol or whatever so we were just watching them down below us and they're
That was really cool. There were some boars that ended up coming in. And I think they like ended up long walks on the beach. Yeah, long walks on the beach. <laughs> they ended up catching our wind, so they all busted out of there. But super cool. I'd like to try to kill them with spear. Fun little start to the. Morning. You hear that? What? I guess it was just a grasshopper. Sounds like a rattlesnake. Like locust or something. Yeah, okay. But anyway, fun little start to our day here at the Real McCoy. It's actually like two o'clock in the afternoon. We just woke up a little bit ago and got us some breakfast and drank some coffee. So we're piddling around. And anyways, the wind's howling like crazy. That's why I'm filming inside the the shop here. So we're gonna load the buggy up, which we're pretty much loaded up for the most part. And then we are going to head out. Me and Dylan are gonna hop up on top of the feeder. He is going to he is going to film with the big camera up high. Um, or actually not with the camera, with this camera that I'm holding right now. Um, I don't want to set a GoPro on the spear itself just because I don't have a fully protective case for it and it's a brand new GoPro and I'm not going to ruin it because most likely that spear is going to stick, it's going to stay in the animal and it's going to run off and I'm just going to go through a bunch of... It's going to go through a bunch of brush, yeah. I mean we're in, we're in the South Texas brush right now so I don't... I just don't want to do that and... But I will have a reverse angle and we will also have another angle from a blind down the Sendero from us. I'm going to give uh, Jerry and Bryn my big camera and they're going to film us from down below or from down the Sendero. So there will be plenty of angles. It will be super cool. And I guess I'm going to quit talking now and we're going to go get ready. And what time is it now? About 4.45, 5 o'clock? Okay. So we got three and a half hours before it gets completely dark. But as you guys can tell out there with those trees turning sideways, and I'm sure you can probably hear it as well. The wind is absolutely whipping. So hopefully it helps us out with the wind as we're standing up on top of the feeder. They get underneath us, they don't smell us. Everything will go right, we'll kill a pig. Well, and just like that, in a matter of one swirl of wind, the entire hunt is over. It got dark on us. We didn't see any more hogs, which is um, pretty uncommon and unfortunate. But it is what it is, and that's hunting sometimes. So as much as I would have liked to have spear a hog, it just didn't happen this trip. But instead of you using my fabricated spear, I am going to go ahead and order one, a legitimate spear, and hopefully an actual case, like a complete covering waterproof case for my GoPro. That way I can attach it to the spear. And it will be super cool to add some of that footage in and um, have just have a different angle basically. But we had an absolute blast at the Real McCoy Ranch. This is one of three videos coming for you guys. And I wanted to start out with this one. Actually, one of four videos, I'm sorry. I wanted to start out with this one though. Um, this one was pretty special considering it's my first time spear hunting and I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Um, <laughs> I want to add too that if we would have had a spear whenever we went out the first time that afternoon, we would have killed that, that one pig. So it's kind of unfortunate and the idea didn't pop into my head until we were up top. And we weren't even armed whenever we were up top the first time up on top of the feeder. So kind of stunk because uh, you know it always happens like that like you're not even trying to hunt anything it's like two o'clock in the afternoon you go stand on top of the feeder and set it off and out comes a, a one sow and then a couple of little pigs and you're
Next thing you know, you're standing up there without any sort of weapon, except for on the buggy that's already driven away and parked and being quiet. So we were just kind of out of luck, but it's no big deal. Um, we are going back down in about a week and a half, two weeks from now, and we're going to hunt some more turkeys for sure. Um, I'm not going to show any of that footage just because the, the turkey hunting just didn't quite pan out the way that I wanted it to, and um, obviously we didn't shoot one, and third, um, they just weren't fired up. So it wasn't super great content like I would have hoped for, but I got four videos, and this is the first one, three more to come, and I'm, I'm pumped to, to share one in particular, so I'm going to make you guys wait for that, but um, it, it was it was super special, and um, it, it meant a lot to me. So. I can't wait to share that one with you guys, and I think that y'all will enjoy it as well. So uh, be looking out for that one, and it's some hog hunting, and uh, of course another there's going to be another video of me hunting some hogs, and then I think I've got some plans to go and hunt some turkeys here pretty quick um, for not tomorrow, but the day after, and that footage will come later on this week. I am just absolutely swamped with footage that needs to be edited, and so that's kind of what I've been working on here lately, and I took that trip, so I apologize for there not being videos up like they're normally has been or should be but with all that being said I want to remind you guys that all the information will be linked down in the description below for um, the real McCoy ranch so if you guys want to go down and hunt um, I would love to be there and come and film that with you guys and uh, be a part of your hunt be a part of your experience if you so choose and uh, just hanging out and getting to know new people which is um, what I'm this relates to that special video that I mentioned just a few seconds ago and uh, so again um, I can I can coordinate and set up a whole hunt for you guys, or um, I, I can give you Jerry's phone number, which will also be linked down in the description below, and you guys can book a hunt through him if you so choose. And lastly, um, I want to comment on um, the shirts. As you guys can tell, I'm wearing a 4B bow hunting outdoor shirt. This is an old shirt. But what do you guys think about some shirts? I know this is kind of towards the end of the video, so hopefully for those of you that have stuck around this long, um, you will be able to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about some shirts and some merchandise and some stuff like that. I'll also pin a comment to um, ask you guys what you think about that. And um, as always, the hats will be linked down in the description below at 4boutdoors.com. And you guys, uh, if you go pick some up, it helps um, support me, help support the channel, and continue to bring this uh, content that y'all love. So I, I greatly appreciate um, every one of y'all's orders. And with all that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. I don't want to get it too long. And... Um, look, looking forward to uh, some of this stuff coming up. So I'm going to do, be doing a little bit um, so of more collaborating, and I always really enjoy that. And so I hope that you guys do as well. But here's to um, some better luck on some spear hunting next time. I think I'm going to go with a cold steel and by Tim Wells or whatever. And hopefully I'll be able to use that sucker and kill myself a hog because I think that'd be um, super cool, very primitive. So. Love you guys. Y'all are amazing. And I'll catch you on the next one.